So today we're going to start something completely different from what we've been doing so far this school year. Um, and we're going to move into some digital imaging activities, uh, just some things to introduce us to photo manipulation and things like that outside of using Canva. Um, we've used Canva a number of times uh, so far this year, and today we're going to be using something called Adobe. Um, Adobe is like a Photoshop tool, and it allows you to manipulate similar to Canva, but in different ways, as you're going to see. So before we get into the activity, let's take a look at our learning objectives. Um, so the whole goal with this activity is to explore digital tools and apply creative and critical thinking skills to solve authentic problems. Uh, we're going to generate innovative ideas and exhibit creative thinking in multimedia creation. We're going to communicate effectively through multimedia presentations. We're going to use our critical thinking skills to evaluate and select images for integration. And we're going to demonstrate a certain amount of proficiency in using digital tools for image manipulation and multimedia creation. So if you could pause the tutorial for just a second and read the what am I learning and why am I learning it to yourself, and then we'll come back together and go over today's activity. All right, so you should have read your what am I learning and why am I learning it to yourself. Let's get a, uh, take a look at what we're going to be doing. So the how will I know that I have learned it? How do I know that I've learned how to um, explore digital tools and use them to create something new? So what we're excuse me, going to be doing is selecting images and removing the background and combining these images to create a plate of items. As you can see, the activity is named Dinner Plate Collage. So we're gonna be creating a collage or a mixture of pictures to create a dinner plate. Um, so the minimum of what to include, which means you have to at least have this much, but you can include more if you would like. So at the very minimum, you need to include a background. Uh, you need to include plates, silverware, food of at least three different dinner type items, a dessert, and a drink. Now I've done a lot of the work for you to find these pictures. You don't have to find these pictures yourself. I've already done that and I'll show you how to access that. Uh, so we're going to be using Adobe Express. Again, not Canva today. We're going to be using Adobe Express. And um, I've also included, like I said, the link to the images that you're going to be using today. And then also a link to the um, citations for those images. It is important to give the artist work, um, the artist credit for their work. So I wanted to make sure to include those resources as well. Okay, so let's start first by signing into Adobe. Now you can sign into Adobe with your student um, portal. So if you go into your student portal, you can find it there. But I've actually included a direct link to Adobe Express just in case the portal is down or there's any other kind of roadblock that you might find to logging into Adobe Express. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that first. And we are going to sign in with our Google, our student email. Um, you can use, it might pop up on the side here. I have used this a number of times, so it's possible that it will only pop up for me. Um, if I were to click continue with Google, it's going to give me the option to select that email, the school email. It is a pay account, so we are going to be using the free features that are offered through the district. And it just kicks me back to this because I've already signed in a couple of times. So if it doesn't kick you back to this, then you're going to continue with Google as you would with your student email. If it does, you can just click up here if it shows up as a prompt for you. So go ahead and click continue. Okay, so we're going to leave this to the side for a second and then let's look at our photos. So to get our photos, what we're going to do is click on this second link here that says images and it's going to take you to the shared folder that I have created 
um, with all of the pictures that you're going to be needing today. So you're not going to be looking for any new pictures. You're just going to be using the ones that I've provided for you for this particular activity. So if I go up to the word pictures at the top here and I click on the down menu arrow, I'm going to click the download button. Okay. So again, that's pictures and download. So you can see in the bottom right hand corner, it's a very large file. So it's compressing it into a zip file. So it's done that and now it's loading it onto my desktop. So once it's loaded onto your desktop, if you double click that, it will open the folder for you. Now before we do open that folder, what I want to do is throw the zip file in the trash. So I'm going to right click and move this to the trash. And then I'm going to go back to my activity. Okay. So <clears throat> now that we have downloaded our images and we have signed in, we are ready. If you need a moment, pause this tutorial and sign in. If you have any questions about signing in, you can ask them now and also download your folder of images. Um, if you have any questions about that, I will be happy to help you with that. Okay, so let's go to Adobe Express. I'm not going to explore too much on this with the, this particular tutorial, but if you would like to pause the tutorial and kind of explore around Adobe, you can do that on your own time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get right into the activity that we're going to be doing. So um, if you're going to pause it and, uh, and explore, that's totally your choice. Okay. So we're going to be doing a poster today. So down at the bottom where it says suggested, or you can click on class projects, we're going to be doing a poster. And when we click on it, it's going to give us this blank one with the pictures of templates on the left hand side. We're not going to use any of these templates. So let's go ahead and X out of here. Okay. So now the first thing that we're going to do before we do anything is we are going to name this. So I'm going to go at the top where it says untitled and I'm going to click and hit delete. And we are going to name this project one. Oh, no colons. Dinner plate collage. Dinner plate collage, which we can also see at the top here, dinner plate collage. So it's project one, dinner plate collage. Okay. <clears throat> Mouse is a little slow today. So we have some different things um, that we can again explore on our own time. I'm just going to get directly into the project, but if you would like to pause the tutorial and kind of play around with some of these different tools, you can, we'll explore them with later projects. Right now we're just going to focus, I'm just going to focus on this activity that we're doing today. So the poster, as you can see, is very long and, sh and uh, not too wide. Okay, so it's not too wide, fairly narrow and very long, and we don't want that. So we're going to go to the resize button. And we want it to be as if it were a piece of paper, but turned landscape. So turned on its side. So where it says custom, I'm going to go ahead and click on the custom. I'm going to select custom. And I am going to change this to 11 by 8.5. So it's like a regular piece of paper, but turned to the side landscape. Okay. So 11 uh, for the width and 8.5 for the height. eight point five and then down at the bottom I'm gonna hit resize okay so now you can see it's like a piece of paper turned on its side okay so now I'm gonna X out of this and the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start putting in those pictures on my collage so I'm gonna go to your stuff which right now you probably don't have anything in there and I'm going to go to libraries. So you can see I've already started this. If I start a library that I don't need anymore, I can just click on the three dots and delete. 
and I am going to put permanently delete it because I want to start from scratch with you. So for libraries, I'm going to create a new library. I can click on the button that says create new library, or I can create a new library by clicking on this button here. We're going to name this library dinner plate collage. And then we're going to hit create. So we're not going to mess too much with colors, fonts, or templates for this project as I'm showing you. Uh, we're going to focus mostly on assets, which are your um, uploaded pictures that we're going to be using for this project. So before we do any of that, what I suggest that you do is open up the pictures folder and explore what pictures are in here. Now, if yours is listed, what you can do is um, select the columns. So it's going to show the pictures as little icons. And then when you select on one, it's going to show you what the background or the picture looks like. OK, so you can see we have some uh, different items that you would find in a dinner scenario. We have some drinks here. Um, and just different, like I said, food items, pasta, salads. The directions tell you that you need to have at least three different dinner type items, like a main dish, a salad, and some kind of a side, and then one of the desserts. Okay, <clears throat> so again, uh, just kind of explore this folder and look at what is on included inside of these pictures and start to sort of plan out how you would like your dinner plate to look. So I'm going to give you a minute. What I'd like you to do is pause the tutorial and explore these pictures in this folder and kind of start to get a plan together. OK, so you should have some kind of idea of what you want to do for this project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start first with a background. So I'm going to just select a background here I like this black or this like dark green background. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. I just click it one or actually, no, sorry. <laughs> I forgot I wasn't in Adobe anymore. I'm going to go ahead and close this window. And where it says assets, I'm going to click upload assets. And it will open up that pictures folder for me. So I'm going to click on that background that I liked. And I'm going to go ahead and click open. So it's just thinking. It's loading it onto my Adobe. And once it's ready, what I can do is I can click it. And it will put it onto my paper. Now, obviously, it's very small onto my canvas. It's very small. So what I want to do is I want to resize it. OK. So that it takes up the background space and you can see where the size of the actual picture is 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 in the background, but we just want it to be right there. OK. So now the next thing that I want to do is I want to include a dinner plate. So I'm going to click on the plus sign. And I'm going to choose, because I have that dark background, um, maybe this black wood plate. Kind of like, no, maybe not. That's not going to look too good. Uh, don't I have another plate? Here we go. Here's another plate. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and click open. I'm letting it load. And now that it's loaded, I'm going to click on it. Now again, it is very small, so I'm going to resize it to make it a little bit bigger. But I don't need that background. So here is where the tools for this um, this resource are going to come in handy. So we're going to start with the remove background. And the remove background, which I can only use when the picture is selected, if you notice, now that is gone. So I'm going to click on the picture I want to remove the background from. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Remove Background. And what this is going to do is it's going to think and think and think. And then it's going to use its little AI brain to remove that background for me. Now you can see from the, 
uh, purple line around that that is still the size of the picture. It doesn't really matter um, as long as all I have is the item that I wanted to keep and the background is now gone. So here's going to be my plate. I'm going to go ahead and move it. Okay, and then click over here. Now what you can see is now we're starting to build layers. So the bottom layer is my background, which I'm using as sort of a placemat or a tablecloth. And then I have my plate. Okay, so now the next thing I want to do is start adding in those dishes, that, those food items. Okay, so I'm going to click on plus again. And let's say I want to have um, this stuffed avocado. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And this is my picture. So I do not expect you to have the same background. I do not expect you to use the same plate. I don't expect you to use stuffed avocado. I'm just showing you this as an example. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And again, I don't want all this stuff in the background. So while my avocado is selected, I'm going to go ahead and click remove background. Let it think, let it think. Okay, now I don't want all three of those avocados. I only want this one at the bottom. Okay, so if I only want this one at the bottom, then what I can do is click on the erase button. And now I have a different option. So I can use this erase button. I'm just holding my mouse down. And as you can see, it got rid of some of the other avocado. I didn't want to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and let go and press Command Z and it will bring it back. That's because my size is so big. So if I resize or I zoom into my picture, so I'm gonna zoom in right now, it's at 37%. I'm gonna zoom into like 150. And then I'm gonna move down and I'm gonna use a smaller size eraser. Then I can get a more precise erase. I did it again. <clears throat> I can get a more precise erase if I make it even smaller. Then it will be easier to get that line over here. Really doesn't like that. But thankfully I don't want this part of the avocado so I'm just going to delete that too. Okay. The whole point is that you're going to want to resize your picture and resize the size of your eraser so that you can get um, a precise erase of your object that you don't want. Okay, so we're using a combination of delete the background as well as erase. Okay. I'm just going to erase this. Didn't want it to do that. Oh, looks like it brought it back. But just to be sure, I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller. Okay. Keeps erasing that one. I don't want it to erase. So I'm just going to try a little bit more here. So I'm erasing. Okay. I'm going to go back and try one more time to get rid of. Maybe if I zoom in, it might be a little bit easier. I just want to get rid of this line. I don't want to get rid of the avocado that I want to keep. Okay, that looks great. So now I'm going to close my erase window and I'm going to take it from 200 back down to about 50%. And then I can resize my avocado and put it where I want it to be on the plate and continue working on my project.
Okay, so <clears throat> at this point, I'm going to let you practice with this again. So what you are using is you are using the, um, oh, to get out of this screen, I'm just going to X out of it. And again, go to asset, find a picture that you want to have. Maybe I want to have some flowers, not those though. Uh, maybe I want to add in um, a tofu bowl because that's who I am. Um, so I'm going to open it. This is still a little too big, so I'm going to move this down to 25. Perfect. <clears throat> so find your picture, add it to your assets, click on it to put it into your image, and then remove your background. Resize it, and if there's still stuff to be added or to be taken away, use your eraser to take away. Okay? All right, so again, what your job is to do is to create a dinner picture that has a background, a plate, or more than one plate if you need it, silverware, which is included in that um, photos folder. You need at least, at least, which means you can have more, but you have to have at least three different dinner type items, a dessert and a drink. Okay, so that is your um, goal for today, to practice using the different tools in Adobe Express. So I'm gonna go ahead and click done. I'm going to close this. Once your picture is all done, what you're going to do is download it and we'll keep it as a PNG. We'll download that picture. And then that picture is what you are going to submit to me into Canvas.